So now I've got a, a button, right, that's got a name that changes, and I've got a horizontal slider. Whew, pretty fancy so far. What if, and I'm just, you know, thinking crazy talk here, what if I want to have a vertical slider? Because chances are I might want to have a vertical slider. So let's go ahead and make a copy of the work that we just did right there, and let's save ourselves a little bit of time. Now in this case, I know that I want the slider to be 20 wide and 100 tall, right? I'm going to do the opposite of what this guy was. And, okay, well, you know, that is a, a particular kind of horizontal slider. Uh, not quite what I want yet, but pff, let's see if we can figure out how to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and split my control panel here again so we can look at both sides of this, inside and outside. And let's make a couple changes. So for starters, let's go ahead and... Uh, change these two around. So in this case, I'm going to look at my parent for the parameter parent par for width, and I'm going to subtract two again. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set this to five tall. Right? That seems uh, just about right. This guy over here, if we take a look. He's five wide, and I'm just going to reverse those things. I want this one to be five tall, so that's why I've made it five tall. Okay, so far so good. But something still is weird going on here. Well, first of all, I can see that in my panel, I'm still looking at U. Hmm, all right, so instead of selecting U, let's select V. Okay, all right, so now I'm getting up and down. I like that. That's great. That's really great. And now what I need to do is, currently what I'm doing is I'm setting the position of this knob based on what's happening in X. And I really want to change Y. I want to move it up and down, not left and right. So let's go ahead and borrow this. Just going to steal this right out of here, turn that back to zero. Let's drop that in the Y position. Okay, close, no cigar yet. We've got to be getting close here. So now in our math, we need to make a couple changes over here, right? Because instead of looking at the width, now I want to look at the height of my parent. And now looking, at, uh, looking over at knob, similarly, I want to look at its height and not its width. Okay, so now, woof, closer and closer. Okay, whew, right, I had a moment there. Got a little, like, uh, carried away. Okay, so one of the things that we need to pay close attention to is here inside of our slider, I've gone ahead and I've set uh, my position for this thing to be uh, justified vertically in the center position, which means, oof, lo and behold, I can't move it. All right, I've got to turn that off. Oh, there we go. That's so much better. And now in the horizontal position, we want to center it. Okay, yes. Oof. Thank golly goodness. All right. Now, last but not least, I need to change around this background situation because that is not working for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this name back to text for a second. And then what I want to do is I'm going to actually come in here and I'm going to swap these things around. I want height and width, right? Because I want a kind of long shaped thing that I can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a flip top. In the flip top, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, bottom left and then a flip XY. Okay, and I'm going to rename this thing BG. And there we go. All right, so now I've got this guy which has this text properly positioned, and I might want to call this slider 2 instead of slider 1. Slider 2. Excellent.